in this video I'm going to take you through how Power Apps licensing works and this is important because every user needs to have a license. Everyone who's going to consume an app needs to have a license whether that's the license included in your Office 365 or Microsoft 365 subscription or a paid premium Power Apps license. I'm going to take you through all of these things. Now in the paid licensing we've got a new option which is pay as you go licensing. If you're here just to learn about that jump straight to it from the chapter link in the description and go straight to where you want to be. Otherwise, let me take you through the bigger picture of how all of this works. So Power Apps is included in certain Office 365 and Microsoft 365 plans. And that's where honestly most people start. You've got to understand that the idea of the included license there, and I say included, not free, because you are actually paying for it, is to extend productivity and collaboration scenarios. Office 365, Microsoft 365, productivity collaboration tools. So Power Apps being included there is designed to allow you to build apps on those kinds of tools and extend those kinds of tools. So building Canvas apps on SharePoint, absolutely classic place to start. Building apps on Excel, also very common kind of use case there. And this is great for those scenarios that are built around, as I said, productivity and collaboration. You've also got the ability to work with something called Dataverse for Teams. Now this is about extending the Teams experience. So if you're looking to build an app which is by nature something that lives in Teams, you're extending that collaboration experience, you've actually got a data source available to you now which is called Dataverse for Teams. That's a relational database that that can handle up to about a million rows of data. Really nice, easy drag and drop to set up your columns and your tables and the relationships between them. And then a Canvas app on top of that. I've got a whole video on what that is and how that works. Check that out if you'd like to know more, but that's included in that license as well. And is a really, really rich capability. Lots of power for you to use for those team scenarios. However, Dataverse for Teams apps are, they belong to Teams. They're using the security model of Teams. They are not standalone apps. They work inside Teams. So if you want to start going beyond that, if you're starting to think beyond productivity, collaboration scenarios, beyond extending Teams into mission critical apps, into apps that need premium connectors, things that connect to enterprise data sources, rich databases, Azure SQL, Salesforce, Dynamics 365, any customer service system you might be working, those kinds of things, then you need the full Power Apps licensing. You're not going to get away with just using the Office 365 end of the spectrum. So once you start to get into the full licensing, you are getting access to the full Microsoft Dataverse, which is a rich relational database that can handle terabytes of data, file storage, log storage, really, really granular permissions and security. And you can build model driven apps on top of that if that's what you want to do. So if you're starting, you don't already have an enterprise data source, don't get stuck on a mission critical spreadsheet. This is a place where you can house your data and work with it. Or if you're coming at it saying, yep, we've got an enterprise database and we want to build apps on top of that to improve the user experience, those are all premium scenarios. Now, if you want to be building a heap of apps, like if you've got a vision and you've got dozens, hundreds, even thousands, then the top level licensing here is going to work out to be really good value. This is the per user license. Now this is US pricing, it's $20 per user per month, but you can have as many apps as you like for that. You can be building apps on Microsoft Dataverse, you can build model driven apps, you can build Canvas apps connected to all of your different data sources, you can use premium connect connections, you can do all sorts of things. And this is designed to work at scale, right? Some people come at this and go, oh, $20 a user a month, blimey. But if you've got thousands of apps, if you've got people using apps all day and all sorts of different things, and you've got those mission critical apps in there, that price is actually really, really good value. However, if you're not at that point, if you're just starting with one app and you need to get started with that, that is a bit too much. So there are two options now for helping you get started before you get to that scale. First one is the per app license. So this is basically that you can license individual apps for individual users. This is $5 per app per user per month. So let's say we've got a team of 20 people using an app to uh, check in and out of the office building and we need them to use that app every day. Then we're just paying that 
$5 per user to use that one app. Now, if someone in that group needs to use another app as well, we can license that app with another per app license. So you can stack those on top of each other and you can see in the relative pricing between $5 and $20. Once you're getting more than maybe three, four, five apps, there might be a tipping point in there, although it depends on if they're the same users or not. If they're different users, you might go quite far with that per app license and just licensing people that way. The other option we've got is the pay as you go option. Now this is $10 per active user per app per month. So this is like a per app license, but we're not paying for every user now, we're paying per active user. Where this one comes into its own is where you've got an app where perhaps the usage is unpredictable or occasional, or you just want to get started and you don't want to make a huge commitment buying license for us for everyone. The place I see this the most commonly is where an organization is a big organization with, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of employees, and they've got an idea for an app that they have to roll out to everyone. And the idea of paying even a per app license is too much. This is classic sort of, you know, you might have an HR kind of scenario and maybe, you know, it's a leave application and everyone needs access to it, but people are only going to actually log in like twice a year to apply for their leave. This is where this pay as you go thing is really going to be the perfect choice. So what this allows you to do is only pay for active users and an active user is anybody who logs in to that app at least once in a month. Now they can log into the app lots of times during that month and it still only counts as one, but let's say we've got a thousand users and only 10 of them use the app in that month, then you're only paying for those 10. So it really allows you to get that pay as you go. Good if you want to split out your costs between multiple departments as well. This one is done through your Azure subscription. So when you sign up, you're going to connect it to your Azure subscription. So you're not having to sign up for a Power Apps license. You're going to connect through that same platform for billing through Azure and then you're good to go. So lots of options now. Office 365 for those productivity collaboration scenarios. Don't forget to check out Dataverse for teams that can take you a little bit further. And then in the premium scenarios, we've got two ways to get started. Licensing per app for those regular use scenarios or pay as you go where that usage is occasional or unpredictable or you just don't want to make that big commitment to get started. And then once you're at scale, that full per user per month app license is going to take you to the next level. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that's been helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you find this content useful and you'd like to see more of it. Thanks.